Well, my work is obviously completed on this machine now and it's running nicely. Um, obviously I got over that little uh, issue with the carburetor problem causing the uh, lack of uh, response on anything over a tiny bit of throttle. That's all sorted and uh, I've already covered that. But I just thought I'd discuss a little about these machines in general. They're uh, often overlooked and uh, they're one of those machines that seem to sort of got themselves a bad reputation for whatever reason. I don't know, I wasn't around in the day when these machines were new. I don't know uh, whether they were that problematic or not, but uh, going on my limited experiences with it over the last uh, week or so, I would say that uh, perhaps they're not as bad as people make out. But like them or loathe them, there's one thing I want to discuss here, which is a very interesting uh, little aspect of them that's probably not shared by many other machines. And that is the engine itself. Now, although not a true unit construction, they're obviously heavily disguised to look like they are unit destru uh, destruction. Uh, construction. No, we don't want destruction, do we? Um, they sort of look like a big bulky unit engine, but the uh, the gearbox is an entirely separate entity, and they've sort of cleverly sort of sculpted the engine casings and used outer casings that really give them the appearance of a unit engine. Um, that in itself is quite interesting, I suppose, and a little different. But uh, what's really interesting about these, and this involves things like the uh, ignition timing and finding top dead centre and stuff like that, is um, and bear in mind that uh, the full advance uh, firing position is a quarter of an inch before top dead centre at full advance, which doesn't seem a lot. And there's been some comments about earlier machines uh, being more like half an inch before top dead centre and even that maybe someone had mistakenly used the timing figures for an earlier totally separate gearbox engine type um, to time this one and in the course of doing so got it wrong remember it was over advanced by uh, a considerable amount um, to sort of throw a curved ball in here now obviously we're given the figure of quarter of an inch before top dead centre for full advance. So that in itself is not too difficult to find. But uh, what's interesting about these engines is they are what's called a Desax design. D-E-S-A-X-E -E, I think it is. Um, could be wrong with the spelling but I think I'm right. Uh, and that means basically that the cylinder... The cylinder bore, if you like, is offset forwards in relation to the crankshaft main shafts and main bearings. So it's not sort of dead centre over the top with the piston, uh, the conrod pointing dead vertical when you're at top dead centre. And that throws in some interesting things. You can get quarter of an inch before top dead centre and you can get quarter of an inch after top dead centre, obviously. Things like that are easy enough to find. But if you were to convert those two positions into degrees before top dead centre and after top dead centre, you'd find that the number of degrees would be different. I don't know what the numbers are, but basically, when you're at top dead centre on this machine, the conrod won't be pointing dead vertical because the cylinder is actually slightly forward. So your conrod and crank pin will actually be sort of off center to the line of the main shafts and the main bearings when you're at top dead center so uh, that's an interesting aspect of these engines and the reason for it was apparently was to reduce mechanical noise um, you know obviously uh, piston slap whether it actually worked or not, I don't know. But riding this, even when it was over advanced, I would have said it was pretty quiet mechanically. And obviously, once I sorted the ignition timing out and got it right, I would say that the mechanicals of this engine were very quiet. So uh, there could be something in it, I suppose. But uh, I don't know uh, whether there's many or any other engines have used that feature before 
or since, but uh, among British single cylinder machines, that's quite a novelty and a rarity. So I thought I'd just throw that into the pot because, um, like I say, these machines obviously sometimes they have a reputation for being a bit of a plain Jane or whatever. Uh, but that is a very interesting sort of aspect of them is that they've got that feature in the engine and I just thought I'd discuss that and the fact that any given amount before or after top dead centre whether it be quarter of an inch half an inch or whatever the before and the after would give you different figures in degrees of crankshaft rotation so a uh, bit of an odd one bit of an interesting one just thought I'd share it and uh, like I say it's all timed up right and good to go but um, I just thought that was worth mentioning because uh, no doubt this machine will be on its way home again fairly soon and uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity of sharing that should anyone be interested thanks for watching